as Minecraft has grown with updates that allow players to change the way the game itself works, it's no wonder that new and exciting maps continue to be created that challenge us to the best of our abilities. A lot of the times, these maps and challenges come in the form of a minigame or something with a direct objective, which is contrary to Minecraft's open-endedness. If we've learned anything from Minecraft's map-making community though, it's that we love to prove that we have pretty fast fingers and reflexes. One way that we've proved this is through parkour maps, and maps that challenge how fast we can anticipate obstacles, or how quickly we can find a solution for puzzles. In this video, we'll be talking about maps that have done exactly that. While you may be able to expect some of these maps, we've definitely got a few that you might not see coming. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So how would I explain this first map? Well, let's try and do it in less than 15 seconds. 15 seconds is a map created by YouTuber Seth Bling, which puts in various challenges from start to finish, challenging either their endurance, quick thinking, and performance in less than 15 seconds. While they're very short stages, these maps are definitely not as easy as you would expect. All right, under 15 seconds, got it. If you end up messing up on one of the 15 second challenges, you get put back at the beginning of that specific part with no penalty. After 10 tries though, you gain the ability to skip the level that you're on. However, if you're wanting the best experience, completing it with no skips is pretty fun and challenging. Each challenge is fairly interesting and definitely tests your ability to make precision-based movements and decisions. This map is definitely worth a shot. So if you've ever played Mirror's Edge, then you'll know that the game requires very quick thinking and an intense amount of running. So what did Minecraft user Lord Pancake create? One of the coolest feeling Minecraft parkour maps and speed maps ever. Not only is the map intense, very much like the real game, but the map also features a resource pack that makes the map look like Mirror's Edge. That's right, yeah, a resource pack with no shaders whatsoever. Many people have taken the Mirror's Edge challenge and can confirm that it's quite the difficult map to speedrun. However, if you're wanting something to test your abilities a decent bit, then this may be the map for you. My personal best on this map ended up being 9 minutes and 16 seconds. Think you can beat me? This next map is a fairly straightforward one, and by that I mean you're literally supposed to go straight forward. The Half Heart Race map was created by map making group Team Wooloo, and it puts you on a test to get from one side of the map to the other. The only catch however is that you have to make it from start to finish with two hearts, provided that you play the map on its normal mode. Playing on easy mode gives you four hearts, and expert only gives you half a heart. On top of attempting to survive alone based on just that many hearts, the map also incentivizes you to beat the challenges as quickly as possible. With a timer in view the entire time, the race begins the moment you touch the ground. From that point, you have to run through cactus, fire, soul sand, and more. If it's not hard enough though, challenging falls and trials of swimming underwater while locating pockets of air also appear during this map. This map is extremely fun and even offers multiplayer support so you and your friends can duke it out in a race to see who's fastest of your group. The Half Heart Race map is definitely worth a shot. If racing against the clock and parkouring wasn't enough for you, then how about being chased by the world border while all of that is happening? Created by Minecraft forum user and Odd Radish, the border chase offers six different levels to complete while running for your life. With three difficulty modes, this map offers plenty of replayability. As the difficulty increases, so does the world border's speed. If the border catches up with you, you'll immediately begin taking damage. This will incentivize you to attempt to put as much distance as you possibly can between the border and yourself. While the map may seem extremely easy at first, ramping up the difficulties is surely going to surprise you then. Beating the map on Nightmares difficulty unlocks a special opportunity for you to take out your vengeance on the potentially frustrating map. I won't spoil the surprise or anything. The border chase is definitely worth your time and offers plenty of fun throughout the map from start to finish. If you try this map, then I don't think you'll be disappointed. So while this map may not look like much at first glance, this Minecraft seed was found out to be the best one to speedrun Minecraft from start until the end credits. This world seed is perfectly set up to enable you to beat Minecraft in around 10 minutes if you're really fast. You don't need to mine obsidian to place a nether portal. The portal places itself very close to a blaze spawner. The stronghold is very close to you. The end portal frames have eight of its ender eye slots 
filled, and there are four Ender Pearls within the dungeon, eliminating the need to kill Endermen at all. Two years ago, after hundreds of attempts, I got a time of just 9 minutes and 43 seconds, from spawning the world to triggering the end credits. This challenge is rarely tackled by that many people, but it's definitely worth a shot. Check out some speedruns, learn the routes and techniques, and see if you can join the ranks and beat the world record, which is under 8 minutes by the way. So yeah, what did you guys think about these speedrunning maps? Are there any that you can think of that I didn't mention? Feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. But other than that, that just about does it for now. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like on it, because it would really help out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. But anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.